These are Year 2 Level 3 students. It's an extended diploma in animal management. There are 27 in the group. I think 22 are in today. Um, and we've been looking at stress and the effects it has on training animals. So today we're going to look at some of the ways we can reduce stress and some of the um, products that are available to help us what do that. What were we thinking about last week? What did we t talk about last week? Who can remember right the way back to last Monday morning? We weren't here last week, Hannah. Uh, stress levels. Stress and levels, yeah. We've had the dogs are looking at alleyways and stuff and how sometimes it can the reaction as well That's it. Okay, so we were talking about stress and I told you a nice story about walking down a dark alley. Yes? And you all jumped. Nice. It was lovely. It was, your it was a nice bedtime story. <coughs> so without looking at your notes, you've got some yes-no cards in front of you. I'm going to ask questions and you have to answer. They all have a yes or no answer. Okay? And you have to hold your card up the right way round or what you think is the right way round. So are you ready? So here's your first one. A dog in fight flight is capable of learning. <laughs> yes or no? A dog in fight flight is capable of learning. Excellent. You've all said no, which is correct. Adrenaline and cortisol are the two hormones involved in fight flight. Yes or no? Yay, you see, it is coming. Brilliant, well done. In fight flight, your heart rate decreases. Good, you've also no, what does it do? Increase. Increases, yeah, good. Okay. In fight flight, your digestive function will be suppressed. Yes or no? What does suppress mean? Push down. Push down. Yeah, good. <coughs> yeah, you've all said yes to that as well, which is correct. And your last one, relief, as an emotion, is a reward. Well done. Excellent. Well done. That's brilliant. You got them all right. And um, slide those to the end, if you would, for me, so we end up with little piles of them at the end. So what we're going to start doing now... Ladies and gentlemen, is we're going to start thinking about ways we can reduce stress and try and help deal with that fight flight and try and reduce it. Why do we want to do that? Why do we want to do that? So we can teach the animal the situation how it should react. Excellent. Yeah, that's it. Because if if something's panicking or worried, we can't train it, can we? We can't possibly train an animal that's stressed or panicking or in fight flight. We know that, Hannah. So keep control of the situation. Good, yes, yeah, keep control of the situation. Good, excellent. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start looking at some products that are available for use. So show of hands, has anybody heard of Fellaway? Some of you, okay. And has anybody heard of DAP? A few of you, excellent. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to get into groups. And I'm going to ask you to move into groups rather than just sit where you are. Comes in the form of spray, you spray it to the dog, bas <laughs> dog basket, bedding, or cage approximately 15 minutes before travelling. So it's used on the move. It works by releasing, uh, I think it said pheromones. And electric diffuser. What? I think it works by releasing pheromones to calm the dog down. I think that's why it's... Uh, it's basically yours is fell away from dogs. So what's a pheromone, do you know? Isn't it a... Um, it's the scent that's used to the territory. Good. Yeah. yeah. Like when they spray. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's the facial pheromone. So, so what else do cats against, do? That's it, yeah. they rub against things, don't they, to mark. And if you watch cats, you'll notice that they never spray where they face rub. And that's how it works. Okay. okay. Oh, what a great idea. It's fabulous. I've got the camera doing that. Oh, God. How does it work, Alex? Spray out.